Good morning, I'm meteorologist Jordan West with your tropics update. Hurricane Lee is currently in the Atlantic Ocean now as a category two hurricane, meaning it has weakened from a category three and wind speeds at the moment are currently at 105 miles per hour. Pressure is at 958 millibars and is moving west northwest at nine miles per hour. Mind you, the average hurricane speed is anywhere between 15 and 20 miles per hour. So this is a very slow moving storm right now is not making any direct impacts, but the impacts that we are seeing from this storm while it's in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean is high rip currents and dangerous surf along coastal areas of the northern Lesser Antilles and the northern portions and northern coast of Puerto Rico. That's about the most impacts we see. Other than that, it's just out in the Atlantic Ocean minding its own business. But as it makes its way into the western half of the Atlantic Ocean, pretty much similar effects from this storm. We'll see those stronger rip currents along eastern the coast of the United States potentially. We could also see that along the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos as we head into the latter half of this work week. But the way that this storm is weakening after restrengthening at the beginning of the work week, we could not even see that. But just looking at the cone that the National Hurricane Center put out again, it is going to strengthen back into a major hurricane, a category four hurricane as it makes its way north and westward. But then it's going to weaken as it makes its way farther into the northern half of the Atlantic Ocean because once again that it is going to drop as we head into the latter half of the work week. The idea that we could have, you know, stronger rip currents along the eastern coast is starting to dwindle. And the idea that this could impact portions of the northeastern parts of the U.S. is dwindling as well. So hopefully this weakens and hopefully it continues to steer out back into the Atlantic Ocean. Either way, it looks like effects towards the eastern coast of the U.S. is a very very minimal if we see anything. So not really worried about that personally, but tropical storm Margo is also out in the Atlantic Ocean. Also something we're not worried about. Winds are at 50 miles per hour. Pressure is at 1000 millibars. It's moving northwest at eight miles per hour and it's headed, you know, straight into the central Atlantic Ocean. We're going to let it do its own thing as well. It's not going to impact anybody. So I'm going to leave that there. Meanwhile, these are the tropical outlooks that the National Hurricane Center puts out before the potential of a tropical storm could form. And right now we have two areas of development. I don't know why they put two on here because they basically said it's one big area of development as we do have a low pressure just sitting off the western coast of Africa. And then we have a tropical wave that's going to move towards that low pressure and these two system could merge. And I say could because between both of them over the next few days or the next week or so, there's only a 30% chance that whatever system does form in that area will develop. So very low chances of developing either way. Once again, way out in the Atlantic, not worried about it. And then in terms of the hurricane climatology, We've seen a lot of development. We had Idalia come through a few weeks ago and we also have all these storms out in the Atlantic Ocean. The reason we're seeing all of this is because we are approaching, if not in the peak of hurricane season, which typically in the central or latter half of September into the beginning of October, meaning the next names on the list if anything else were to form would be Nigel, Ophelia and Philippe. And you can stay up to date on all things tropics at 13WMAZ.com. I'm meteorologist Jordan West, 13WMAZ News.